Hello guys, welcome to our new video for Rust, uh, which is for Stellar's Soroban. So, this is actually, um, I started a file in here. This is how you are going to do this. You're going to write, um, first, you can create a file by um, writing mk there for directory. And you can name it Soroban if you wish. And what you need to do is just to go with CD Soroban and inside you can just say cargo new um, code in Rust and you will see the file created for you just like this. And while you're in here you can go to terminal and right after that you can type cargo build to uh, build these files so it will add target git ignore and cargo lock to your files in here so let's say it will add target cargo dot lock and dot git ignore okay so those are the files that are going to be added to your directory so let's go uh, first, what I need is a main function. So this is actually everything going on inside my card block. So if you just go with fn main, which is your main function, that means that everything inside in your smart contract happens in main function. So if you want to add any more things or any more stuff, you need to added outside of the main function and you need to create a variable inside the main function to make things all right so if you're going to go step by step so you will understand what i what i mean right now so first let's start with variables in um rust we have two different variables first we have lat which is immutable and we have let mute which is mutable which means that you can change the variable inside and we have basic data types and don't forget that rust is a type language which means i need to use um i need to write all the types that is related to my variable so let's go. I'll just go with let x. It should be, um, let's say, integer 32 bits. And it should be equal to, let's say, 16. This is my first code. And to print the output out, we need to write a macro, which is print ln macro so let's go with print ln macro and inside I need curly parentheses and I need to go with x so this is the first version of how we use the print ln macro uh, if I go with run it will go with cargo build and cargo run codes and it will run them both and it will give us a result in the end so let's go as you can see 16 is here as our result let's move on um, let's create a string as a data type and let's go string double dot from um let's say hello soraban so i just need to put a semicolon in here to make everything is working and also let's go with let y this time i'll use another um, basic data type for string and i'll go with hello stella and I'm just going to print out
one. So, this is the second type. This is the second version of how we use printer. So probably I'll just, you know, get a mistake in here, but um, let's just see the result. So 16 and hello Stella. So this is the first that it just got, got, got out because it should be an immutable variable, immutable string. And this part is mutable string. So for example, let's say Z in here and let's print out Z as well. Or Z, whatever you want to call it. So let's go, let's print it out. As you can see, 16, hello Stella and hello Suraban. So these are our outputs as you can see in here. So now let's move on. Uh, let me just close in here as well. This time let's go with um, functions. Functions are being created by fn. So you have two options. If you use pubfn, it is for the public use. If you use fn, it is for the private use. So um, let's go, let's create a public function. In here, right after that, I need to write its name. Um, let's say event for the time being. I'll just take my parentheses and my curly parentheses to make it break. And it just says, you know, you need to use a snake case. Let's just go like this and inside there we're going to write our codes if they have any so this is actually guys um how we use it so um for example for public event say let name it should be a string so string from let's say james and let's also print out james with our macro. Let's go with the first version and let's see the result. Okay, let's go with run. So, in here we have a mistake, it says. Let's see our mistake. Name should be string. So let's try. So again, as you can see, we have a mistake in here. So unused variable. So we used actually be set up later. So it's okay actually. Now you can just use a synthesis only a warning. It doesn't you know, if, uh, making sense, and we're not using this public function, but uh, when we use it, we're just going to use it a bit later, so don't worry about it. So, let's go on. Um, all right, let me just, yep, there we go. All right, I'll just take it here so it doesn't mix with the codes that we have written so far. So um, now what we are going to learn is or let's say our structs and arms. So I need to put it outside of our main function so I'll explain why now. So in structs we are actually compiling many items in one class. So I'll go with a struct and I'll name it event for kids and I'll have my curly parentheses. So first what I need is the name for the event. So let's say that it can be changeable. I need the date. I want it as a string again. 
and um, let's go with um, number of participants, number of participants, and let's go with it on site integer 32, and let's go with the place, and we want the place should be in the string, and we are just closing like this. So this is guys um, our code in here. So to make it implemented, we need to write it inside the fun function. Um, so let's go. Let's say that e equals to um, event for kids, and inside the event for kids, we will have um, the name, and we said that it should be a string which means I need to use string from, let's say, um, kids code. And, okay, let's go with comma. And, um, we need some colon here. And let's go with date, number of participants. So date, it should be string again. Let's go with string from, let's go with today's date, which is um, 4th of March. And then let's go with number of participants. It should be, let's say, U32 and let's say 1000. And last thing I need is the place. It should be a string again. So let's go to string from, um, let's say, New York, USA. So this is how I use my files in here. Let's go a bit like this. And let's try. Yes, this is actually how we are using it. Okay, uh, let's close the spread as well. So, this is how we use our um, struct in here. And then we have enums. Um, so, we have again enough comp compiling this time errors in enums in one class so generally it changes in many things so let's go in um and let's say no event um let's go to cancelled event and um event type for example and let's give it a name errors for event and this is how I use my events in here so you can actually edit in here so add your enum in here this is how you actually um, guys process your codes